Okay, so this is the start of day four. It's uh, half seven in the morning. It's been quite eventful already. Um, I was hoping to be on the road about an hour ago. Um, I woke up about six o'clock this morning. Couldn't find my money anywhere. I was checking it out because I've got to stop at some point and get a big net or something, a sticker to put on the bike to uh, ride through Austria, which is the next destination. Um, so I was convinced, because I paid my bill late last night, because I was going to leave early this morning, um, I was convinced I'd left it on the side. So um, I got the whole hotel up looking for it. <laughs> the manager out of bed, who's not normally up till about 10 o'clock, his wife, the son, we searched the restaurant, we searched the office, and I thought, well, I've left it on the side, someone's taken it. Um, I phoned Anna up, phoned the wife, as always, the voice of reason. I said, you won't believe it. Lost all my money. I still got my cards, though. She said, what silly boy, or something like that. Um, and I said, have you really looked? So I really looked, and it was in my bag all the time. <laughs> so I had to go down and apologise to everybody. <laughs> Even the German bloke that stayed on that was trying to go to work because he could translate, but anyway. Um, eventually getting on the road now, so I'm off to Austria. Just outside Passu, um, heading to Austria. So I've had to pull over and buy one of these. It's called a Vignet. And if you're caught on the Austrian main roads without one of these, it's a 240 euro instant fine. So uh, you've got to do that as soon as before you get to Austria. Because once you're inside, it's too late. So I've got to stick this on the front of the bike. Somewhere like that, I guess. And uh, I can then head into Austria, but first I'm going to Passau, which is uh, a town where all the rivers meet apparently, so next time you see me I should be up some massive hill in a monastery, overlooking one part of Germany and then looking over to the other side into Austria.
last German town before over there is Austria. You can hear the bells chime in. It's called the Three Rivers Town because you've got the Danube and the Ills merge here. It's roasting hot. This is a fork top hill looking down over the town. It's beautiful. And I'd definitely come here again. There's a nice cafe just there where I'm sat drinking a coffee. That is my view. Must be dinner time because all the bells are ringing. I'll just leave you to look at this view. It's amazing. Right, just about to leave Passu, cross over the Danube and head towards Austria that you can just see between the trees in the distance over there in the hills. So just check the bike over. Everything seems to be good. Got my Vignette sticker on the front, ready to rock and roll so I can go through. And apparently, according to my map book, there's some tunnels and the possibility of a couple of tolls. So I've got my card out and some cash. Ready at hand, so ready to go across. Just like a new battery in the GoPro. Thanks to Terry Marshall for donating that. Well, lending it to me. <laughs> so, trying to get all this gear on in this uh, 30 degree sun <laughs> and hit the road. Definitely Austria. It's just tunnel after tunnel after tunnel. Which is great. Because it means it doesn't spoil the scenery. Rather than digging up the hills, they go under them.
much it asked me for going through that tunnel. Thank you very much. Five euro fifty. I've been a giraffe. Mind you, it was quite impressive. That last tunnel was just under six kilometres long. One of many. <laughs> to be fair, you wouldn't get a suntan in Austria. You spend all your time in tunnels. Thank you very much. dodgy hair yet again uh, stopped for the meal of kings tin foiled meal from Aldi and now to live and I'm in Austria now I've just come through a massive series of tunnels some about three miles long um, loads and loads and loads of them but that's why you get the scenery that carries on looking like this <laughs> all the way well for the last 20 30 miles this is the sort of scenery along the roads it's just stunning absolutely stunning it's like being on a film set so i've still got about 100 miles to go uh, to get to where i'm staying tonight which is somewhere near graz so uh let's get over there and see what's in store for tonight see you later another toll so i guess it'll be another tunnel who knows thank you